another type of uh, another type of a reverse curve or the other types of a reverse curve we have a reverse curve of equal radii okay is this time this is now a type of a reverse curve that contain two simple curve that has equal radius called a common radius okay so dali lang naman po yan again pag common radius parehas yung radius 1 tsaka radius 2 but they may they might have a different angle of intersection for both curves and uh, different tawag na dito tangent distances basically they are all uh, they, they are also a uh, simple curves but uh, combination lang naman sila with regards to a reverse curve okay parehas lang po iyan ito yung equal radii uh, first this is an e uh, a an equal radii then the next figure is a uh, e equal radii Ito yung equal radii pala. Ito yung equal radii. Ito naman yung unequal radii. Kagaya ng mga binigay nating example kanina. But this is a uh, equal radii. Pag equal radii, most likely they might have the same angle of intersection, the same tangent distances, or sometimes they have a different angle of intersection or uh, uh, tangent distances. Uh, yan lang naman yung equal radii maintindihan nyo na rin yan pag mayroon na kayo nakitang problem na ganyan kaya nang kumag practice dyan next stop is our uh, diverging and converging tangents first stop is the converging tangents this is now a type of a reverse curve where the back tangent intersects forward tangent at an angle equal to i or uh, theta Okay? I or theta. Such as shown in this given figure. So, kung ang converging, the uh, back tangent intersects the uh, forward tangent. So, with diverging naman, basically, that is the uh, uh, reverse of the converging tangent. With the uh, diverging tangent, this is now a type of a reverse curve whose back and forward tangents separates the distance of diverges uh, of diverges this type of reverse curve is similar to converging tangents only in reverse kung converging a uh, tangent a back tangent intersects forward tangent with diverging forward tangent intersects the back tangent okay yan lang naman po yung converging diverging the first stop is our example problem involving a uh, converging tangent okay mag extend time ng five minutes lang so converging tangents uh, two converging tangents of a reverse curve with an equal radii an equal radii have an azimuth of 300 degrees and 270 degrees respectively so, pag sinabi niyang respectively, the back tangent has an azimuth of 300 degrees and the forward tangent has an azimuth of 270 degrees. Such that the common tangent is 320 degrees in azimuth. If the radius of the first curve is 28, uh, 285.5 meters and the distance from the point of convergence the point of convergence from the point of uh, from the point of convergence of the tangents to the point of intersection of the second curve is 160 meters find the radius of the second curve napaka ikli ng solution sa problem na ito ang problema nyo lang is for you to understand how to interpret the problem okay How are we going now to interpret the problem? Sabi niya, the azimuth of the back tangent is 300 degrees.
extent ko na Okay. And the azimuth of the forward tangent is 270 degrees. This is 300 and this is 270. Such that the azimuth of the common tangent is 320 degrees. Okay? Ngayon, ito na yung sinasabi nating convergence. The convergence of the back tangent with the forward tangent and this will serve as their point of intersection gawin na lang natin point O then the angle of their intersection this or I1 and this or I2 mali I2 and point of reverse curve say that is your PC this is your PP And the radius and another radius of the first curve and the radius of the second in the problem given yung radius ng ating first curve which is 285 Point five meters. Okay, and the point of intersection of the second curve at the distance. So, yeah, the distance from the point of convergence to the point. Uh, convergence of the tangents to the point of intersection of the second curve. Point of intersection of the second curve is 160 meters. Okay? Find the radius of the second curve. Ano natin gagawin ngayon yan? No. Are we going to solve that? Ano natin si solve yan? Ano natin si solve yan? Ano? Paano natin isosolve? Triangle lang naman yan, o. Triangle na naman po iyan. Solve muna natin yung ating mga angle of intersection. Okay? The angle of intersection for the first curve, that is 320 
threes and three hundred. O, paano yan? Angle of intersection for the first curve, I1. Simply 320 degrees minus 300 degrees. So, I1 is simply 20 degrees. Sana na gets nyo yan dun sa figure. Then, the angle of intersection of the second curve from the figure, if that is 320, and that is 270, that is now 320 minus 270 degrees. So, I2 is now equal to 50 degrees. So, kung meron na tayong I1 and I2, which is 20 degrees, and that is 50 degrees, and this is theta, this is the angle of intersection for the convergence, I. Kunin natin ngayon si theta. Theta is simply equal to 180 degrees minus 50 degrees, which is 130 degrees. Okay? So, if that is 130 degrees, pwedeng-pwede nating masolve yung angle of convergence. Note, angle of convergence based on our figure can then be identified on this triangle. Ipan ko na nga lang ng kulay. On this triangle. Nakita po yung triangle natin. Kung yan yung ating triangle, labas lang natin yan. Para mas malinaw niyong makita. This is 130 degrees. This is 20 degrees. And this is your angle of convergence. The angle of convergence now is simply 180 minus 130. Triangle lang po. Minus 20. That is I equal to 30. Okay? Meron na tayong angle of convergence. Meron na tayong angle of intersection, I1 and I2. Then, sa ating triangle, meron tayong distance na 160 meters. Uh, this distance. And the common tangent. So, by what? By sine law, we can simply solve for the length of the common tangent. Sine law, that is T1 plus T2 over sine, angle of convergence, 30 degrees, equal to 60, uh, 160 meters of sine 120 Ay, 120. 20 degrees. Okay? Simplify. Common tangent now is equal to 160 sine 30 over sine 20 degrees. T1 plus T2 for the common tangent is now 233.904 meters. Note that in our problem, given yung radius ng first curve. So we can simply solve for the tangent distance 1. So R1 
Diretsuhin ko na po sa formula. Kaya na mag simplify. R1 is simply equal na ay E1 tangent distance 1 is simply equal to the radius of the first curve which is 285.5 meters times tangent of uh, tangent uh, tangent of the angle of intersection of the first curve 20 degrees over 2 P1 is simply equal now to 50 0.341 meters. Subtract natin si T1 with the common tangent to solve for the ang uh, tangent distance of the second curve. That is 233.904 minus 50.341 gives us 100 what? One eighty three. One eighty three point five six three meters. Oh my god, yeah. Five six three meter. So again by right triangle again in our figure, we can simply solve the unknown of the problem, which is the radius of the second curve. That is T1 by T2, which is 183.563 <coughs> over the tangent I2, that is 50 degrees, over 2. Equal now to 393.652 meters. Yes, po. So, hindi po ba 183.363? 183.563 over tangent 25. Hindi po sa yung D2 po. D2? 233.964 uh, minus 50.5 by 341 183563 ano nga eh tama naman dito tama naman ano or yung T1. 50.341. Ano may, ano yung question na yun? Three ninety three point six fifty two. Again, dito na naman yung ating one right triangle ulit yan. Same goes. The second question. Question po. So that is converging tangents uh, for reverse curve. Next video or next lecture, we'll have to discuss another example problem. This time for a diverging tangent. Nasa, kayo na po maghanap ng example nyo para doon sa equal 
Raday. Napakadali lang naman kasi yun. Halos pare-parehas lang sila ng analysis. No? So next meeting, discuss tayo ng example for diverging tangents. Ito medyo mahaba-haba at napakaraming uh, drawing nito. Question? Thank <music> you.